Alrighty, morning everyone! So, in this beautiful video, on this beautiful channel, on another beautiful day, we are going to take a look into, I guess, this sealed motor thingy. It looks very interesting, I found that recently, so I got that for free, that's very nice, and we're gonna see how much money you could make from stuff like that, how much is actually in there, if there's actually like a stator or something like that in there, or if there's like copper parts and whatever, we're gonna take it apart, see how it looks, and see how much money we can make from it. So, the whole thing is actually pretty interesting and pretty easy to take apart, I think. There's just some, like, small, like, Phillips screws everywhere, and you just unscrew these, hopefully, and it comes apart. Hopefully. We'll see. But, yeah, besides that, this thing is made out of rubber. That's very interesting. I've never seen something like that. I don't know why you would make this out of rubber. It would only be logical to make that as strong as possible, and rubber isn't really as strong as possible. But, well, I guess there's a use for that, because otherwise no one would have produced it. But then again, I found it in the trash, so... Hmm... Whatever. We're gonna take it apart, see how much money we can make, see what's in there, see how interesting or not interesting it is, and uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so I already learned two things, isn't that awesome? So, first of all, you don't need to unscrew these to take the thing apart. I literally just cut the camera because these were really trash screws that are really tight in there. And then I just pulled the side and it just, well, it, it fell apart. So, so that's nice. That saves us some time. And the other thing I've learned is that this is actually very interesting. You can see... This is the top part. These are the little coal brushes that a non-brushless motor needs to run. So this is basically just a piece of graphite, and that piece of graphite pushes against this piece of copper here. And it creates a connection, and that's how electricity can flow inside a motor, and it, it powers the motor, somehow. I, I'm not an electrical engineer, but that's how I understand it. So... We've got two very big magnets in this thing, right there and right there, obviously, and um, they kind of sort of work together with this thing, and they turn it and stuff like that, and that's how the electricity does stuff, and that's how this thing turns. Wasn't that a great explanation? Yeah, sure, I'm pretty sure no one understood what I was saying, but, um, but yeah, that's also not really why we're here. We're here to see how much copper is in this thing, and if I look at it... I don't think it's a lot, <laughs> to be honest. It kind of looks like there's almost nothing in here. Uh, so that that's nice, but it looks cool, right? I think it really looks cool. You could you could probably sell that as an artwork to someone that doesn't know what it is and will pay like probably two million for that. So that's nice. Let's let's try that, I guess, because otherwise I don't think we're gonna make any money off of that. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly um, take a picture of this and put this as the thumbnail, and then we'll see how much copper we can actually get out of it. it it's not gonna be a lot. I'm gonna tell you a secret here. It's, it's gonna be really bad. But whatever. We're just still gonna try it. So here we go. Okay, um, how am I gonna say that? We learned a valuable lesson, okay? Let's just call it that. We learned a valuable lesson. If you ever find something that looks similar to this, 
stay away. <laughs> why do I say that? Well, because we couldn't scrap the plumbing thing. Why did we not? Why were we not able to do that? Well, because this isn't only just wound in there; it's also glued in there. Usually, there's just some kind of resin used that kind of sticks it to there, but it's actual glue. You see this blue stuff that's also in there, like under these windings. It's like, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? It didn't make a difference. It ended up in the landfill anyways. I don't get it. Like, whatever. Okay, so let's talk about the positive things. We've got a good chunk of aluminum. That's good cast aluminum. There's also some brass in there, so that's good. Okay? We've got a good chunk of steel. If anyone needs a big magnet, you can also use that. That's good. We've got a gearbox, which I'm not going to take apart. And that's, that would be Iny Alley, but my yacht doesn't buy Iny Alley, so for me, that's steel. That's bad. We've got some copper, that's like, yeah, I would say 30 to 40 grams. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, is it equivalent to the amount of work that we did? No. But uh, I think we had some fun. We learned a valuable lesson. We've also got this thing. This is going to be sold as a motor. Did we increase the value of this in any way? No. Can you make money off of this? No. Um, I mean, probably yes, if you had a big shredder and you just throw it in there. But no, no, not even then, because this has less than 10% of copper value. And if you're buying it for more than 50 cents, you're not going to make any money. Like, you know, it doesn't matter what your process is. You break, you're just going to break even at, at best. So stay away from this stuff. Don't buy it. Don't try scrapping it. It's not worth it. It doesn't matter what you pay for it. If you just buy this thing, okay, yeah, maybe. But the whole thing, no. Stay away from it. You're going to lose money uh, or at least not make a lot of money in any specific time. And so, uh, yeah, I would say it's best just uh, at the scrapyard where it belongs, kind of. Well, I think we can all take something from this video. This kind of stuff is not worth doing. So we should just stay away from it, save our money, save our time. And I think that's also very valuable to know. So, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> kind of fail. But, you know, it is important to figure stuff out and to see what is actually worth it. This is not. So I would say I hope you still enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions whatsoever in regards to this topic or something else, whatever, write it in the comments below. I'd be very happy to answer that. And also, please like rate the video with either like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you might want to do. And also, if you want to make me happy, subscribe to the channel because that for some reason makes me happy. I don't really know why. I don't really, really even know what it technically means if someone subscribes. But but I just think that's 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 a really cool thing. So. Yeah, if you want to do that, do that. If you don't want to do that, that's fine as well. So, thank you very, very much for watching, and until next time.